Hi everyone, my name is Abel Gray Kantoma from Greatest Card Design Concept. This is actually my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number or you can call me, okay? These are actually the list of softwares which you have covered on our videos on our YouTube channel, okay? Uh, today I'll be taking you through the AutoCAD environment. Uh, I'll be taking you through uh, AutoCAD. I'm going to be explaining, uh, introducing you to the software right there, okay? Um, as you can see, this is actually AutoCAD 2016. Okay, it does not really matter the version of AutoCAD that you have. Uh, once you can use a particular version, uh, you should be able to use other versions too as well. Uh, because AutoCAD actually has shortcut uh, keys. Okay, those shortcut tools, uh, which with a very good knowledge of your shortcuts, uh, you should be able to use any version of AutoCAD. Okay. Now, if that is correct, I'm just going to be introducing you to the software. As you can see here, we have line, we have polyline, we have cycles, we have arcs, okay, uh, different uh, tools. Uh, these are the most common uh, tools that you use in the environment, that is why you see them here. Uh, here we have, um, you can see these are panels that you can, <coughs> now if you click on this drop down, you see there are more tools down below here. Uh, you can see if you click on all this drop down you can see that there are other uh, tools that you can actually make use of okay uh, as you can see here we have the drawing recovery manager this is actually uh, this actually pops up most especially in the case whereby uh, your system actually uh, forcefully uh, went off maybe your battery actually by mistake you actually shifted your battery and it went off or uh, there was no power supply and then you were using uh, your laptop and it went off okay uh, you can actually recover your file uh, on this okay all you need to do is just to trace the name and then the particular time and the particular date okay you should be able to recover that file i'm going to take you through that process uh, later on uh, as we advance in this uh, training uh, the training is actually going to be in series okay uh, so this is actually just uh, the episode one of our training on AutoCAD okay sorry that is actually still loading okay you can see if I click on any of this file you can see uh, it's telling me the time and then uh, the size and then the date I actually uh, did uh, this design you can see I can actually back this up I can bring it back okay uh, just in case uh, because there are a lot of people who uh, while, uh, while they were while while they are actually doing their design and then uh, when the system goes off they have to start fresh okay you don't actually need to do that uh, you can actually recover your file uh, when it actually goes off possibly okay um, if you come to your insert you can see we have uh, different tools here too as well i'm going to be taking you through all of these uh, tools uh one by one okay uh on each uh, series we are going to pick a particular tool and work on it okay and then uh i believe uh, by the end of uh, this training uh, you should be able to attain mastery in uh, autocad okay so this is uh for annotate okay this is parametric this is view this is manage output okay you can actually export your file to pdf and other formats okay um if i click on this drop down here you can see uh, for new maybe you want to actually create a new drawing or you already have an existing drawing this is for open just click on this and then uh, it brings you here you already have an existing drawing you can see i have drawings already which I have done on this uh, software so uh, I can just click on any of them and then that will actually open for example you can see I just click on this you can see uh, if you look at this preview here you can see uh, some drawings here being shown okay uh, you can save you can save as the save as is you being able to save your file uh, for uh, in different formats okay we have different formats at which you can save your file you can save it as as a picture okay that's jpeg okay and other different formats and then you can save it as dwg okay uh, you can save it as dxf and there are a whole lot of uh, different formats and in different years that you can actually save your file as 
okay so that's the essence of save as okay but if you just click on save it's actually going to maintain the default setting okay from uh, the AutoCAD uh, environment which you have actually done okay um, okay so if, if you come to your options you click on options sorry it's actually still loading good now you can see um, this is pick box this is grid size okay you can actually change the size of your grid you can actually change your pick box okay um, you can see we are under selection here if I bring this back to display you can see uh, from uh, our window here is showing uh, as this color is showing as black okay uh, we can switch uh, this color to whatever color if I actually switch this to white and then I click on apply now you can see uh, that change has actually taken effect immediately uh, in the AutoCAD environment you can actually do that to open and save you can see uh, our file automatically is going to be saved as AutoCAD 2013 okay so uh, I usually like to make uh, my AutoCAD uh, file to be saved in 2007 because uh, I don't think if I have uh, me in person I don't think if I have ever come across any AutoCAD file lower than uh, 2007 but there are, there are AutoCAD even 2000, 2001 even uh, we have lesser versions though but uh, I myself I, I have not really come across that okay you can see we have 2000 we have 2004 we have 2007 I usually like to save uh, my work in 2007 because uh, I believe uh, uh, there is uh, well or will I say that I in person have not really seen anybody using AutoCAD lesser than that uh, version uh, even though uh, there, are, there are other AutoCAD that are lesser than 2007 but sometimes uh, it, to be on the saver side uh, you can just save it in 2000 okay uh, so that uh, whatever file you design it's actually going to save in AutoCAD 2000 okay the reason is because uh, when you try to send your file to another person maybe somewhere else uh, that person might actually be using a lower version uh, than yours okay uh, for example if I'm sending this file to somebody in Lagos uh, that person may, might actually be using AutoCAD 2012 for example if that person is using AutoCAD 2012 if I save my file as 2016 uh, he will not be able to have access to that uh, file I hope you understand the point I'm trying to make okay so um, so it is actually better you save your file uh, to a very low version that you know that uh, everybody around you can actually have access to it easily okay so if I save this, this is actually going to be by default okay so uh, on our display I have shown you uh, the colors uh, the font okay you can actually play with uh, your font size uh, and then uh, the style okay that's uh, whether it is italic whether it's bold okay and the likes I'm gonna be taking you through this process later on deeper into all of this uh, on this uh, software later you can see this is your cross air okay I'm going to be showing you what that cross air is later on in this video uh, this cross air you can actually increase it you can actually uh, reduce this uh, cross air as well okay um, if you come back to our selection your pick box you can increase it you can reduce it I usually like to make my pick box uh, very uh, large okay uh, but customary I think uh, the AutoCAD pick box usually comes as a very small one and then uh, the cross hair actually comes very small if I take it back and I click on apply and click on ok I'm going to, just going to show you usually it comes like this you can see uh, my cursor as I'm as I'm actually uh, flipping this you can see how it's actually moving so the line that goes across uh, the vertical and the horizontal line that co crosses each other are actually the cross hair and then you will see like a, a rectangular or like say a square shape uh, at the middle of uh, this cross hair is actually your pick box 
okay so if i go back to my option okay uh i can play with this uh, just increase this i usually like it large uh so you can just play with this uh, to your taste okay so if i click on apply now you can see it's actually large if i click type on op this is actually a shortcut to i i usually like to make good use of uh, my shortcut keys okay it actually makes my work uh, a bit faster and then it easier for me okay so with good use of uh, shortcut keys uh, it does not really matter the version of autocad you're actually using uh, you should be able to uh, use any version of autocad uh, smoothly so open and save i have explained all of this your plot okay uh it's just you uh, choosing uh, your, your printer maybe you have a printer at home or in your office that you're actually using you can just uh, do that settings there and then uh, your drafting your colors all of these you can actually adjust all of this you take your time and and go through all of this file uh this is just an introduction to this uh software uh, we're taking you deeper into each all of uh, each of uh, these tools and everything that has to do with AutoCAD. Uh, one by one, I'm going to pick each of them and treat them uh, separately. Uh, if you already like what you're seeing, make sure you like this video. Just give it a thumbs up, okay? Uh, subscribe to this channel. You see a red button down below. Uh, just look for that red button written subscribe. I click on it and you have subscribed already. It's actually 100% free. Okay, click on the bell icon so as to always get a notification whenever I post videos. I post videos like this on a weekly basis, sometimes on a daily to encourage as many that actually want to actually uh, have a deeper insight uh, of design. Okay, uh, so uh, you love what we are doing and you actually want to be part of our sponsors. Okay, for sponsorship, for support. Okay, you just want to support what we are doing. We actually use money to do all of these things that we are doing. Okay, uh, so you want to support, you want to show us some love. Uh, you can DM me on my WhatsApp contact or you can even call me. Okay, uh, we do also take uh, people on training on our Telegram platform where we we'll guide you on how to install your softwares and how to crack them. Some of these softwares we'll give them to you, we'll share them to you uh, uh, on our Telegram send those softwares to you guide you on how to install it and how to crack it and then we'll train you for 40 days okay until you attain mastery uh make sure you stay safe and make sure that you actually stay blessed uh watch out for the next episode which i'm going to be uh taking you through uh each of those uh tools separately.